Okay, now we're going to do with Jurassic Spine Series 1 on the table. So the first thing I want to do is, is work out where my x-rays are going to go. I open up wide, I move my cassette, send it to the cassette, collimation top and bottom. I go into the middle of the field here, locks in position there, move my patient around so I can make sure that I get the top of the thoracic spine on my film. So there are no sending points, it's just if you get the top on, the rest of it will be on, on as well. So that's all good there, just like that. And again, I'm going to use my wedge filter, just a piece of aluminium in a wedge shape. I'm going to use my wedge filter to even up the, um, the densities by just sliding that in into position just like, oh, just like that. And that would be my first um, exposure there. So everything is exactly right. My system of radiography makes sure that everything is double checked. Um, this is right, that's right, patient's right, everything's right. Now I'll get my patient to lie on the sides, facing away from me. So roll over on your left side. Postural positioning is essential for getting good, good thoracic and lumbar spine x-rays. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that if, when she's lying on her side, I can introduce the maximum amount of curve in her back. So what I'm going to do is reach underneath, don't move, don't try and help. I'll push down there. Once again, I'll just lift up your shoulder. So I'm trying to get that max... That, I'm trying to get that maximum amount of bend in the back there. Now, if I wanted to, I could go down and look very carefully at the way the back was actually bending, as I did many, many times when I was training myself, and I could say, okay, that's very predictable. I'm just going to be aiming at about five degrees. I'm going to again be centering to the middle of the bucky. The collimation is still set from the one before, so the collimation is exact. I'm going to spin her around a bit to make sure it's going up and down. We're going to do some very tight collimation here as well. So that is my position. We're straight between the shoulder blades. We're, we're just uh, down here, there's um, C7. And so that's, that's our positioning for the lateral thoracic spine. Quite, I haven't gone halfway across the chest, but I'm making sure that we're nowhere near the front part of the chest. We haven't included the thyroid. We haven't included the, the sternum. There are lots of really serious things go wrong when people really don't understand collimation and accuracy within radiography. So that's my positioning, and I'll show you a series of x-rays that will show you what I'm able to achieve in this position. In this position, I'll actually use an exposure of something like two seconds, maybe three seconds, something like 70 kilovolts, and maybe 50 MA, something like that. But it depends now with, with your digital technology as to what you're able to do. But this is the older fashioned system, and that would be a good, good x-ray.